Never mind. I hit start streaming instead of start recording. There we go. Now recording. Welcome back to our lovely adventures. Today we have May I build high, Iris, and Adkara. Um, all the two, unfortunately, not with us today, but it's okay. They still have the faithful Eugene with them. Him and his good looks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where we last left off. We did a recap a little bit earlier, but Mountainside, Roleplay, Guards, the fate of Leander dying, um, magic happened, exploring, combat, and all that fun stuff. Um, so right now, we they have discussed on what they would like to do, um, since they are still about to worry um, from the ventures. They had earlier in that. Okay. Um, so right now, you guys are currently in a room filled with dead guards. Hey Pedro, um, we gonna see your face? Uh, no, unfortunately, you don't get to see my face in the recording um, because I have it set up to where. I'm in the top left corner, you guys are in the bottom right corner, and the background is, today, is a map of the general area of it, so whenever this comes out, everyone will see this in a map, so, you know, um, the last one was our faithful and loving bard, Eldrick. He was the face of the one-shot. Okay. So... Once the last guard has been killed, yes. I'm going to do, I want to investigate the room and try and find if the mask is here. All right, that would be the guard. I want to loot some shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, I fell to my knees at, at last, uh, at, on, on my last uh, attack, but uh, yeah, you got to look through some bodies and see what's up. All right, let's, um, Let's see what is in store for you guys here. Treasure wise, uh, the guards scattered are um, decorated with dragon movements. Oh, they, they are worth five gold each. So they were about, I think, five guards in that room. So you have five pieces that are worth five gold each. Um, so it's like, it's like a closing, I do believe, from what it's describing. Um, they are not part of the cult of the dragon uniform, but wearing one of these scabbards could buy a character credibility when trying to pose as one of the cultists. Uh, so they're not part of the cult, but you can probably use it to, um, get in. Um, and there's at least three of them? Th yeah, there's at least three. Um, but, but all five? Yeah. yeah, you can take all five if you want. Um, Total-wise, out of like all five of them or anything else you can find in the room that may be of sellable um, things, the total worth is about 120 gold all together. 120 gold of sellable items. Correct. Whether you can, you can have that. As an actual item, one big item, you can have that gold. How do you guys want to divvy up? So if you have it as items, you can role play the selling. If you have it at just 120 gold to make it simple, you can just divvy up that way. However you guys want to portray whatever this 100 gold is worth. Or what well, the kind of stuff is there because, again, most of us are without our equipment. Oh yes. Um, oh, I also yeah. I also have um, because I looted Dragon Claw. Um, <clears throat> I have a dagger, yeah. a regular sized dagger, uh, a scimitar. If you're proficient with that, um, I also have leather armor. Um, leather armor doesn't fit me; otherwise, I would wear it. Um, but if you needed it. Oh, so wait, didn't my leather armor at some point get like destroyed or something? It was probably in the it was probably in the bag. 
uh, for the event. Right. And then the bag is no longer a thing. So you need it. Yeah, I'll take the leather armor then. Yeah, so I, I'm going to... I pull out the leather armor and go... I look to you and go, would you benefit from this? And I'll just look at it and be like, hell yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right, take it. I also um, looted 21 gold from the other room when I was looking for the mask earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, and I also got... Um, I got more money and a signet ring. Keep the signet ring. Yeah, the signet ring. Oh, that is part of my kit. I want to keep that. Because mm-hmm. I have one, and so does Scarlet whenever she rejoins. Um, oh, um, speaking of splitting things up, um, Akara. Yes. I have stuff for you. What stuff do you have? While you were out for the count for a little bit, um, I had some stuff for you. I think I put it towards the back. I did. I'm so tired, little man. I, I, I know. These people, now I am pooped. I, I know. I'm sorry. I'm. It's all over the place. I hate it. Ah, here it is. Um, here are your guild letters for you and Scarlet. And here is 130 gold to split between you and Scarlet. Oh, wow. That was payment for uh, one of the jobs for Zongast. And um, the paperwork allows uh, Scarlet to cast non-damaging spells. Oh. And, is. and also, I have this. I don't know what it does, but I pull up the the small little battle axe that's in my pocket, the one that did the big slash. <clears throat> I pulled out that little thing that got folded into a square. I pulled that out and I go, I don't, I don't know what it is, but it was a big weapon that slashed me. So maybe it could be like an item that you have to you have to hug for an hour and then get used to its uh, properties. Oh, that sounds interesting. Would you like this, Avocado? Sure. Okay. Definitely good for a short rest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so as you hand it to Avocado and he you know puts it in his ha- in his hand, um, the battle axe starts to unfold and gets larger and larger into the size. Um, for Adkar to wield. Nice. Um, great. Um, oh, we could take a we could take a drink of this, and I pull out the flask to lift your spirits. I don't know what it is, but it's the flask to lift your spirits. Maybe it's a health potion. This is for me. Uh, sure. I hand it to you. Excellent. Thank you. Right, and so, uh, be- before you start handing anything else out, um, to go back to the little axe a little bit, um, <clears throat> so I can describe it to Ed Carr as he's kind of like checking it out and everything. I uh, no, it's a battle axe. Oh, okay. Okay. Two handed. Uh, yeah, two handed. Okay. Um, so it looks like a very extremely nice battle axe, um, well crafted. The, um, hilt of it, or the long piece of wood that's usually connected to it, um, has a mix of material of, it intertwines with wood and metal. Um, so the handle of it is just like an intermission of wood and metal meshed together. Um, almost like they're doing a dance with each other. Obviously, the big giant blade is metal as well. Um, but you also, what's unique about this battle axe is it does have a tip on the point. So you can now do piercing damage with this battle axe. Mm-hmm. Um, which normally you can't do. Um, there is a attunement to it. Um, so if you try doing piercing with it now, you will get disadvantage with it. But as long as you wield it for a day... 
you'll be attuned to it, and then you can do piercing damage just fine. Okay. Um, so, also, so there's, so is it piercing and slashing damage whenever I hit with it? It can do. You can either do. It's a versatile weapon, so it can either do piercing for one d four, or slashing for one d twelve. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's a multi-verse um, weapon. Okay. So when you're raging, don't you get two attacks? Um, not a level two. No. Yet. Not yet. Mm-hmm. <coughs> I mean, it, it, it's nice because some things do have like damage re- resistance to slashing. So you yeah. know, he now he has something piercing that he can still use. Okay. Um, without carrying around, you know, a bunch of weapons. Um, there are little designs of kind of like imprints of different animal heads on the battle axes um, to signify what you can assume that the axe wielder, the former wielder of the axe, engraved on it. <clears throat> um, the main ones that kind of stand out to you as like, oh, this person, whoever wielded it, was a very capable person because there's a bear on it. Um, there's a boar on it. Um, there's look like to be some kind of sea monster on it. Um, there is a dragon's head on it, but it's more the shape of either a half dragon or a dragon born on it. Oh, interesting. Um, so those are the three that really stands out to you. Okay. So while we're doing, this is the short rest now that we're doing, is that correct? Uh, this is why he's handing the stuff out. Again, you guys could get attacked at this moment. So before, if that does happen, I want to just explain what the axe is to you. Cool. Before. Yeah, so uh, once I've handed out the stuff, I look to Iris and I go, uh, I don't know if we want to split up the gold now or wait for everybody but I have more gold to to split that is part of the party um so it's up to you I'm all about splitting gold so here's what I got in total I have in total 25 gold three silver and one copper for the group we could keep it as a part as just general party funds just in case and then uh, wait for the others to get in. But I leave this up to you. I to just keep it as general party funds. Okay. So so I have so I have so I have that written down, and I'll take out a piece of parchment, and I'll write down the party loot, what's part of the party, and uh, and the and the money that we've gathered. That is outside of what I gave up, Kara. Cool. Because that was your that was your money, not the party. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so I'm gonna get that short rest in a second. I gotta find this fucking mask, and I start looking for the mask. Okay. Um, so again, not yet to, uh, short rest, but what you guys do find on the guards, uh, they do have chain shirts on them, shields. Um, that's pretty much like with armor wise. So, and you guys can wear a chain shirt or shield. Go ahead and do that. Um, they you actually the only weapon that you actually have on them is a spear. So they do look like typical guards, like you would see in cities. It looks like these people were hired more <clears throat> than actual um, mercenaries. So it looks like they either hired these guards from a nearby town and just had them change clothing. Um, or just, you know, these mercenaries found a suit of guard armor and decided to don it. I, I don't I don't have uh, I mean I, I'm sorry, I, I don't have uh, any armor because I'm you know Goliath. Um, but apparently I'm a fish a, proficient with the light armor or medium armor and shields yeah barbarians got that nice little perks because now you can be a tank barbarian right 
Um, a lot, some some people don't do it just because they want to keep to the classic. Like, I want to take the hits, and I think depending on what race you do, you don't need to wear that armor because it would interfere with. Possibly something you get? I'm not entirely sure. Because I know, Tra uh, Travis, when you did Year Barbarian, you chose no armor. Yes. Uh, you would yeah. have an unarmored thing where if you weren't wearing armor, your AC becomes 10 plus your dex mod plus your constitution modifier. Yeah, I think that's what I did. Uh, because a chain shirt is a 13 plus dex mod. Right. Yeah, that, that I do remember that now. Yeah. Okay. Um, but, unless I get some killer, you know, plate mail or something. That's. But here's the thing: if we can carry the chain shirts, um, I think because it's metal, we could get some money for it mm. down the line. Yeah. Yeah. But, but if we need it for protection, but if we if we can carry it, we can always put it with Eugene and then the other two. Maybe, does Eugene have one of those special backpacks? You actually haven't asked him that. He's not in front of us. No, yeah. he, uh, he's back at the entrance, currently with an unconscious Leander and a very exhausted um, core. core, because you guys have yet to return to find out what has happened. I'll just write it down. We have five of each, and if we choose to ditch them, we 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 ditch the stuff. Right. Fair enough. We can always carry it back with us to the entrance, and if we need to ditch it there, we can ditch it there. Yeah. And it might just be funny that you know <laughs> random guards might walk by it and go, "What the fuck's this stuff just sitting here for?" <laughs> right. Um. So, Peter, do we find anything else? Um, unfortunately, no. That's just really about it. Um, no mask? No mask. It looks like it might be deeper into the cave. Fuck. I sort of, like, hit a table in frustration. Um, there is another um, cave hallway that you guys can go through to further go into the cave if you chose to. Okay. But other than okay. that, this room is, looks like it was a um, a guard barracks. So you have some beds. There, um, mostly all of them just look like it was packed up, um, and everyone was just kind of like using sleeping bags. Okay. I'll take um, a spear, just FYI. I'm gonna take a spear. You're gonna take a spear. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, I have something to do some pokey pokey damage with. And I also have an extra dagger, uh, if you need it. Uh, what? I have an extra dagger. I'll take that, too. Okay, so you have the dagger, and you have one of the spears. Oh. Um, Adkara, were you going to take any of the chain shirts or shields? Um, can, collectively, can we just put it all together to to sell later? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. I was yeah. just asking if you were going to have any for your personal. No, no, not for personal use. Okay. Um, with that, after being frustrated with um, with hitting the table, he just sort of slinks down onto the floor and then just starts trying to deal with some of the wounds. And he attempts to do a short rest. That's what we're hoping for. Okay, uh, you guys, roll me a perception check. So this is at uh, this Natural is 20. after the the hit and then kind of the slumping down. Natural twenty. <laughs> nice. Uh, do you need a total for that? No, no. Natural twenty would just do. Okay, great. Twenty-two. <clears throat> dirty twenty-two. And then what was Ed Cars? Seven. Okay. So. Hey! I appreciate you rolling low. 
<laughs> the, only thing oh. to, the only thing I wanted to see was the back of my eyelids. No, it's okay. This, this happened um, while you guys were, you know, focused on trying to find something useful um, and everything. So it's not technically anything bad at the moment, but this is more of, okay, so since we now looted the bodies, so we looted the room, we looked around, and we talked about a game plan, and then we're just taking this moment to kind of collect ourselves. Uh, you guys notice that there is a figure, a shadowy figure in the hallway um, that looks more well-armed, well-trained, and has a halibird that stands out. A what? A halibird? <laughs> what is that? It's um, a full it's a arm, halibird. basically, with an axe on the end of it, basically. Yeah, halibirds come in all shapes and sizes. Um, you can Possibly. use, yeah, you can use them for like depending on how what art form you want to use a halibird for. Um, you can use it in many different ways: close range, long range. But yeah, it's pretty much a spear with an axe on it. I like to whisper this to everybody. Uh, quietly. Yeah, stealthily. Okay. Uh, go ahead and do a stealth check on the whisper. Um, the group doesn't need to make one, but your hidden friend will. Twenty-one. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. Um, perfect. Um. So I immediately get the scabbards and the robes from the guards. I toss the scabbard to um, both. Um, uh, to both Iris and Nadkara. And then I attempt to pick up a shield and a spear. And I'm going to hide behind a table with my spear uh, coming over it. And I'm pretending as if I'm one of the guards that reside here. Trying to defend against a counterattack. Okay. As you do that, um, the figure darts back further into the hallway. <clears throat> So away from this. Yeah, away from you guys. That was a close one. Yes. I don't think so. So I think, we didn't. I think they know we're here and they're going to get the mask. Or at least well, that's my thought. We can always go try to attack. Iris, do you have any healing capabilities? Um, according. I have. I can. I can do it only once. So I can do cure wounds. Okay, so that means that we need to think. Uh, I'm sorry, Adkara? No, I was just saying, do it to you. Um, so we need to choose. We need to either finish our short rest, hope, and then just wait for them to come back out if they do, or we follow them and see where they're going. I mean, I would rather you guys short rest okay. um, to get back to full health because I'm perfectly fine. If anything happens, I can, you know, now that I'm properly armed and everything, like I can defend us if need be. Okay. Adhikara, what say you? This is a sticky situation. I'm not sure that either either option is good. If they know we are here, we lose element of surprise. If we follow, we lose we, 
We have one chance of dying. Are we close enough to get contact with the others? Not yet, no. Sorry, that was a question that uh, oh, made the others. <laughs> my apologies. No, no, it's good. We are we are many distances away from them. Damn. Okay. I am very low. Very low in health right now. Then I think we go with Iris's uh, wisdom and we take the rest. Because if we die in this, what is the point? See what happens. Yeah, let's say, let's wait. And then may I will put the shield down and take off the scabbard and go back to addressing his wounds. All right. And also, maybe sh should we close the front door? Yes, we'll close the door. Perhaps lock it. <laughs> maybe a good idea. Okay. For once. I'm going to close the door. <laughs> if there's a locking mechanism, I will lock it. <laughs> oh, unfortunately. Have to have there's not? There's not a locking mechanism, no. It's just like a flimsy door. Is there a table that I can sort of like jerry rig to act as like a, a lock? Yeah, I'll say so. It's like a table of some kind. Good. Well, I will very weakly. Get over there. I'll just go push the table. Iris is just going to giggle. <laughs> Be like, oh, this is funny. This is funny, like, ha ha, funny, hee hee. Hee hee. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, then I will sit up against the table that is gerrymandering the log and address my wounds again. And then think to myself, is there something else I'm forgetting? No. Okay. I'm gonna sit on bed. All right. I'll be facing wherever the direction the other guy went just in case because it seems we got the door covered so I'm just I'm going to face the other direction to make sure all angles are covered that way no one can come up and surprise us unless they just appear out of fucking thin air <laughs> well you never know a portal opens and 200 kobolds rush you guys oh dear lord we're not that level yet we will just die. But they are forced you to have a 200 hour um, tea party. And they all name is Mrs. and Edbit. Oh my god. So their intelligence is like five, right? Yeah, and they all have one arm. Beautiful. <laughs> they get disadvantage on attacks. And Howard and, and Flower on hat. Oh, obviously. And an apron. Yeah, but they all speak in unison. Oh, that's weird. Like a hive mind. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> okay. Um, so you guys rest for an hour. Surprisingly undisturbed. Um, Sweet. Which is possibly a good thing or possibly a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know yet. Gonna roll my hit dice. Yeah, I, I just did. Oh, yay! I get to max. I rolled a 12. I got 11. Yeah. Are you just doing one die or both? Uh, just one. Um, well, I mean, uh, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'm going to do both. I'll do both. I'll just see what happens. All right. Let's see, let's see what happens. That is uh, a nine. Nine more. That's cool. Very nice. Uh, all right. A lot better than five. 
<laughs> a lot better. Walk with me to get a drink. Yay, we're going on a trip. And I'll it's say a good ship. Do 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 <laughs> no, we're not. I wish we were. I have water. <laughs> we are sponsored by the ocean. <laughs> we are sponsored by Travis is a bitch. <laughs> so, that wrong? Um, okay. <laughs> so we finished the short rest. Good. May I get up? And he's going to very quietly um, remove the mechanism that was keeping the door shut. Okay. And uh, he's going to look back to Iris and Adkara and go, we ready to move forward? I'm ready to take it down. Iris? She's she, not ready. She's so deep in thought. She was just kidding. Not ready. Oh, shit. Why haven't I used this? I'm a fucking idiot. At second level, I get Song of Rest. Which means I can use soothing music or oration to help revitalize wounded allies during a short rest. Um, you got a song of rest. Anyone who can hear the performance that's friendly regains hit points at the end of the short rest by spending one or more hit die. Each of those creatures regains an extra 1d6 hit points. Oh, damn. Do you want to use it? Because I don't know if Adkar is all the way up full. I am three points short of being full, but also we are in the middle of a place where somebody may know where we are. So you would be playing music. Even if it's a slide whistle. But it says oration. Or oration. So I could be talking to you guys as well. Giving us a nice little pep talk. Yeah, exactly. I, I honestly, I would, I would think we really need to be more quiet than anything. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so I'll. For this particular I'll game. Lock. Yeah. Because you can use that regardless. You don't have to. Um. I mean, we'd be obviously be in a short rest situation, but. Right. Okay. Okay. So. I, with that, I think we're ready. All right. So do you guys want to move ahead then? Uh, I'm going to stealthily open the door to make as little noise as possible. Are you going back the way you came or are you going to go further in? We can go further in in the, in the guards room. Yeah. So that's where that one person saw you. Um, there is a hallway further like at the end of the guards room. That leads to, like, that, you know, end of room, hallway, then it goes further into the cave. Got you. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I asked the group, uh, group, do we want to go down this way? I think this is our next location. Because, Akara, you and I already know what's further down there, and we and you dealt with it. They follow the bad guy. Okay. I'm going to go first 
and try and follow the bad person stealthfully. All right. Who is going to follow behind, may I? Um, let me be at the end. Yeah, I was say I'll do it. I'll follow behind, may I? We can do it in height order. Yeah. Uh, hey. We're like, yeah. An, yeah. we're like an AT&T bar. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, now. What's our signal? What's our signal? Not good. No I'd reception. Say a, I'd say we're a fairly strong signal. Well, I, I rolled for your signal, and it was a nat one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, I can't see the video proof, so I don't trust you. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You're going to have to get another camera just above your dice, only for the reception rolls. <laughs> I just rolled it. I just rolled it, and it literally was a, a nat 20. Like, so that's fine. I believe everyone but Iris now. <laughs> Iris will always be at a 5. No matter what she rolls, the total will always be a 5. But 5 out of 5 is the best that there can be. That's true. There you go. So Iris will never hit, but her healing will always be a 5. Her damage will always be a 5. I mean, it's not like I can do much more damage. Vicious Mockery is a D4. Hey, you get 5 for some reason. Yay. Um, Alright, so as you move forward to um, through the hallway, um, and Travis is looking for traps, I'm assuming. Yep. Yeah. I'm doing everything stealthily and looking for traps. All right, roll me that looking for trap check. Natural 20, again. Damn, um, boy. No traps. After, like, the first, you don't need to take a picture. I don't. I don't okay. okay. Um, after the first, like, 10 feet in, um, you are safely, you can safely assume that the rest of the hallway is not trapped as well. It looks like this was okay. just a hallway to get to point A to point B without any traps. Okay. okay. Um, uh, I whisper to I whisper to everybody. I think we're good. Let's continue forward. All right. Let's go. All right. So since we're at the minute mark, um, we'll continue until it kicks us out because I want to see what it actually does when it kicks us out. Um, and then I just might upgrade to pro. If I upgrade to pro, I just might just do that. Well, there there is an option where you could pay fifteen bucks a month for the for the next tier. Oh, that's not bad. Um, so as you guys go forward, um, you get about 20 more feet. Uh, it's about a 30-foot hallway. Um, it kind of winds like a snake a little bit. So, um, so it felt like you guys went a little bit more farther. Well, actually, let's go about 50 feet hallway. Oh, there we go. Up right now. <laughs> 